and hear my thoughts. First of all, start with VAR. Um, how's that not a red card? Absolutely ludicrous. Um, the only thing I can give um, some empathy to the uh, referee, I think I only saw it from the angle from the other side. I have to admit, when I watched it, I didn't see the, uh, the challenge because we were that side of the pitch as well. However, if we're going to have VAR, surely dangerous challenges like that are the whole point. Then there's the penalty incidents. Last week, uh, Wilson, he's pulled back by Laporte. It affects him. Um, in my view, that's a penalty. Uh, soft, maybe. But what is a soft penalty? Again, yesterday, the Turkish guy pulls him back. Uh, sorry, didn't pull him back. He knocked, um, knocked his leg. And Wilson goes down relatively easily, I admit. The, um, pundits normally call that clever. Uh, but not when it's a Bournemouth player, obviously. They're fouls. They're fouls in the box. And, um, you know, this, and there's the Grealish uh, incident at Villa. He's gone down under momentum. How can these referees possibly know whether those players have dived or not? If you don't think it's a penalty in those instances, play on. So that was really, really frustrating. Um, the game itself, first uh, half an hour, we were very good. Um, I think we were the better side. The first goal was appalling, um, very, very naive. I'm not sure if Mepham stepped up or not, but um, between him and Cook, they uh, yeah. the one thing you don't do is let Vardy go through. And he was magnificent yesterday and the... Uh, and the finishing was sublime. But we got ourselves back in, and then we were winning loads of turnover. Billing and Lerma were awesome in those early minutes. We were wasteful. That front three continuously disappointed at the moment. Come on to that in a moment. Uh, and the game was relatively relatively comfortable. Leicester had a bit of a head of steam up towards half-time. And again, we conceded an appalling goal. Um, Cook was a bit unlucky, I think. But we just let Tielemans go in. He didn't even connect with it properly. It hit him. And of course, the way the ball's rolling at the moment, it, it goes in on a 45 degree angle and hits the inside of the post and goes in. From that moment, I have to be honest, I don't know why I always thought we were going to lose. Um, but of course, the Tielemans incident, 30 odd minutes to go at that point, 2 1 down, or even the Wilson penalty, if it had been given. I, I accept it was soft, but I think it was a penalty. Um, would have changed the game just to add uh, salt into the wounds. Mepham tries to dribble the ball out and it's Tielemans, of course, who puts it to Vardy and then it's game over. What's really disappointing me is at that point, subsequent to that, um, and it's been the same probably since last November, but getting progressively worse, there just wasn't the effort there. There wasn't desire to get back into the game, not from everybody, but a good half a dozen players or so just seemed to accept defeat. That wasn't what we were two years ago and that's the one thing that really concerns me. I'm um, I'm still in a position where I think overall we've got seven major injuries. You get Lewis Cook and uh, David Brooks back into that team. Interested to see what Kelly and Dan Juma would be like. So I don't think it's the end of the world right now. Um, and at the end of the day, I expect to lose at home to Man City. And I think I probably expect to lose at Leicester. So we're probably on par for where we'd want to be, even for a top 10 finish, which is where I'd hope we'd finish. Looking at the team themselves, Ramsdale, eight goals conceded. I don't think he's at fault with any of them, though. Uh, still still happy with him in the sticks, although Travers is going to be um, uh, banging down the door to try and get his shirt. Smith played well, worried about him. Looks like a hamstring, four or five weeks maybe. I, I, I don't know, obviously not a doctor. Uh, Ake left back, no, just no. Um, Mepham stopped being so naive. Cook, not one of his better games. Bill and Lerma, fantastic. Both get a yellow for first uh, bookings. Sorry, first tackles, which really feels... Uh, it, it felt disappointing at the time. And obviously changed the game massively because they then had to be a lot more circumspect. Lerma probably lucky to stay on with that second yellow as well. Uh, VAR only can do a red, mind you. Um, uh, Harry Wilson, totally out of his depth yesterday. Um, looked clueless and uh, I'm sure he'll, his time will come. But yesterday we were playing with 10 players in, in the team. Fraser, don't even get me on to Fraser. He obviously thinks he's better than the club. I really wish he'd gone in the summer. That's four games in a row now. He's throwing his arms around, rolling his eyes as he was at the end of last season. Ironically, his performances, um, in my opinion, when Danjuma and uh, Brooksy are back, I don't think he'll even be getting in our team. So he needs to back his ideas up. Wilson and King aren't firing either. So um, disappointing, really. Um, but perspective needed. Leicester, a good side. And uh, Vardy, as I said, was on fire. The squad uh, depth was shown to be at bare bones yesterday. When you bring on Sermon for King, um, that's not going to be great. And Jordan I, honestly, um, I've willed that guy to do well for months, uh, years. And yeah, within the first minute, he's let the ball roll out. He's given the ball away. As always, he stops, does his little shuffle. 
Um, he just doesn't seem to be able to put his mercurial talents into into play. So very, very disappointing. Good cameo role by Solanke. Um, I'd like to see him get a start and see if he can get a run of games. Um, three really big games now. If we're going to be top 10, Everton at home, Southampton away, West Ham at home. You really want seven points from those. So let's uh, let's see where we are at the end of September. Cheers, guys.